there's always this um, there's this rumor. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure you're well aware that the reason that Christians want Jews to uh, or want Jews to either be in Israel or want to support Jews is is for eschatological reasons. It is for messianic times. Is to usher in the second coming. Uh, is for their own purposes, not really out of love of Jews or Israel, but more that this will help facilitate their own desire of having uh, Jesus return to, to, to earth. So I'd like to hear, first of all, is that a widespread belief in your, in your experience? And secondly, where, does, where, do, where do you perceive that the Jewish world, the traditional Jewish world in particular, should stand on that issue in the sense that should we be happy about receiving uh, that sort of support? Or is that something we should be leery of, concerned about? What, what are your thoughts on all of that? Right. Mm. So it's important for people not to see this as an either or, meaning that these evangelical Christians really are not pro-Israel. They don't love the Jewish people. Uh, but rather, they want to convert the Jews to trigger the second coming of Jesus. So actually, all of it's correct. They, these people are not all, but almost all, what's called dis, premillennial dispensationalists, whatever that means is not germane. But they come from a thread of Christianity that exploded in the 19th century, or really early 20th century, after Schofield uh, published his Bible in the very beginning of the 20th century. So these people really, really are very pro-Jewish. They're very pro-Israel. They really are. If you, it, they're not, they're not putting on an act. They really support Israel. They really do. They also believe that it is much more important to convert Jews than anybody else. The New Testament says so, Romans one sixteen. But they believe that the conversion of the Jews to Christianity will trigger the second coming of Jesus based on an obscure passage at the end of Matthew 23. So actually, all of it is going on at the same time. It means these people now. So I've just said that, they're, that they are really very pro-Israel. It's not like John Hagee really supports Hezbollah, but he's doing because he wants to. That's not going on. These people really, really are very pro-Israel. And they really, hey, is not the best example of this because he has a very hard view. But all these other guys, the Southern Baptists, they, they, all of it's going on at the same time. Now, here's where it gets nefarious. This is not where people expect it. What they then do is they weaponize their um, support for Israel. They take advantage, they leverage the humanitarian aid they provide for Israel. There's a lot of it going on. In, as a way to reach Jewish people with the gospel and to let them know about Jesus, so they would become Christian. They'll, they'll say Messianic Jews. So it's all of it's going on. They really are genuinely pro-Israel. They're they're, they really are. And being pro-Israel would naturally nourish philo-Semitism. They really are interchangeable. And they really want the Jews to convert more than anybody else because they believe that the conversion of the Jews will trigger the second coming of Jesus, Will the return of the Jews to Israel will trigger what's called the War of Armageddon. It's a complete misnomer from the book of Revelation because whoever wrote it, presumably a guy named John, um, misread a passage in Zechariah. But whatever it is, they believe the Jews have to be here, which triggers a war of Armageddon. And that war where many Jews will die because of another misreading from another, this next chapter in Zechariah, chapter 13, that will trigger the second coming of Jesus. So all this is coming on. I mean, they want Eskimos to convert to Christianity. However, they don't believe that the people of, you know, the people, uh, the Native American Indians, if they become Christians, that has anything to do with making Jesus come again. But they, they believe about Jews. So it's really all going on now. Should the Jewish community be uh, concerned? Oh, my God, yes. Very, very concerned. This is 
very disconcerting because there's a rule about Jewish evangelism which will surprise the viewers. In almost all cases, when a Jew is converted to Christianity, their first interaction is social. It's not with a professional missionary. It's not with someone on the staff of First Fruits of Zion. It's not with someone at Chosen People Ministries, but it's rather with someone they work with, someone they're in some uh, pro-Israel. Some, there's some social networking going on where the evangelism takes place. So because these evangelicals are exploiting their humanitarian aid in order to bring the— and they'll say this. They, in raising money, there's a lot of money out there for Jewish evangelists. They'll say, look, we are bringing aid to Jewish communities in the southern part of Israel, in the Gaza envelope, in no, providing for Holocaust survivors throughout the, throughout the state of Israel, in the displaced um, Israelis who lived in the north and now can't be there because of the conflict with Lebanon. And we're using that to share the gospel with the Jews. And that is guaranteed to open the floodgates of money coming from Baptist churches, the Semis of God churches. So they are very much providing humanitarian aid. However, they're weaponizing that humanitarian aid. And they therefore be very aware of this. When you bring in volunteers for your that's where it happens. That's that means if the relationship between Jews and Christians remained only between leaders, people like yourself and leaders among the, uh, in the Christian community, there would be no danger at all. What happens is there's this working together, but that's where the evangelism goes on. So we have to be very cautious of this. And really, we have to draw a line and just explain that this just don't cross that line. But there has to be a relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. Now, you're probably going, okay, that sounds like a good idea. It won't work. <laughs> that means no matter what you try to do, they're going to use every social interaction with the Jewish community in order to evangelize them. It's just going to happen, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you can't talk sense into them. It just won't. 